Okay, so my si my uh, no longer 16 year old, it's gonna become 16 year old. My son here drives a lot of cars because I have a different car. This is gonna be the first time he's gonna be able to drive the, the new M60. Now he's driven the Plaid a decent amount and he drives his Type R. So he's starting to know about cars. For whatever reason, he doesn't like to drive the vet. He hasn't dri driven the vet yet. But with that being said, he needs to get in and get comfortable and understand the settings on the cars. Let's start with that. Okay. Can you adjust the seats? Good. Okay, put your foot on the brake. Can you adjust it? Why is it not letting you? I don't understand. It's like... So that's one thing about the BMW already. It's kind of weird. The key needs to be on you. That means it needs to be like in this vicinity. Because the key was just sitting right here and didn't like it. Okay. Then the telescopic... Nope. Telescopic um, on the... On the uh, left hand side, there should be a dial. There you go. There you go. Okay. Get in the position that you're comfortable with, okay? That's a key. You don't, you don't, you don't have to care about all the mirrors and none of that stuff. Okay, so you're pretty comfortable overall? Yeah. Okay, foot's still on the brake, right? Foot's still on the brake. All right. So to do this, you pull back, it's, this is a toggle. Yep. This is a toggle, that's all it is. And then to, to put it in park, there's a button here. So before you start driving, just because this is not my car, foot on the brake, right? Yes. Put in drive, please. Okay, put on park, in park. Okay, so we know how to put in drive or in park, right? That's first things first. Okay, feel comfortable, signal's still at the same place. It's yep. not a button like the Tesla is. So you, okay, so, First things first, what is your impression of the interior? I actually really like it. I like what they did with the interior, especially with the screen and these lights. These lights are really cool. The one thing I do wish though, is that they put them in the back. I don't know if you can pan to it, but it's like, it's kind of empty back there. Okay, so this is not a seven series. The seven series is all ball or out, right. okay? Um, but with that being said, this is an M60. This, this, is a, this is a very nice car. This is close to a 100K car. Yep. So first things first. So I like like the finishes, the material is very nice, right? Yep. Okay. So when you're ready, it's up to you. Okay. Take your time though. Okay. Make sure you clear gently. Get a feel for the uh, the throttle so that you know the response. Oh, it does. It does have. Uh, they call it power creep in the Tesla. They removed it on the plot, and I'm not too sure why. What is it? I don't know. I, I might have turned it off, right? No, I looked in the settings, it's not there. But when you take your foot off the brake in the Tesla, it uh -huh. will move. Oh, the auto hole? Yeah. Okay. You do that here, it does move. Okay. So we're gonna go on Patola. Yep. Make sure we're going straight away, that's all we're doing. Go for normal driving, not spirited. We don't need to spin out or anything like that. This is an all-wheel drive car. Yep. Okay, so okay. It, it's super safe. Super safe is in your dad thinks it's super safe. Brake is how you like the brakes. Spongy, responsive. It definitely feels spongy. I have it, we haven't taken it to higher speeds yet, so I can't really tell. Okay, you should know right away. How does it, what does that feel coming back from it when compared to a Tesla? I mean, the regenerative braking definitely isn't as strong. You might have turned that down though. I'm not too sure about that. I do like the HUD up here. Okay. Like, I don't really know how to describe it, but it's like, you can see the speed, the speed limit, and then the car and what's in front of it, I'm assuming. Okay, Justin, one thing is you have very good ears. What are you not hearing in this car? It's very quiet. But also, the... <laughs> yeah, the creaking. I was, I was gonna point that out. Okay. The Tesla creaks like crazy. And my Tesla is still new. It's not like it's old. It's a 2022, by the way. Yeah. Okay? Okay. So this is without all the sport mode and everything. We're gonna stay fairly respectful. 
but when you make them right here and if you're clear, I would say give it a little punch, okay. right? Make sure you're on a straight line. I don't want you to hit it when you're turning though, okay? Yep. Punch it. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's an electric car. Yeah, it's instantaneous, right? Yep. So that's a then that's not even in the sports mode. So the question comes now: Is a plaid really compelling? Because you don't need the plaid power. You really don't. You don't even need the lucid power. You don't need a thousand horsepower. So you know this put low pretty well. If you're comfortable, give it a little bit more. Right? Very stable. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Slow it down a little bit for me. Okay. Um, my modes. I don't need to come home. Okay. So I just switched it to sports mode. You can go straight a little bit more. Just like a normal drive. Go up yeah, a little bit and make it. Okay. okay. It should, you should have a little bit more punch now. If you have clear, you can do a mini launch. Okay. okay. There's a okay. There's a left hand paddle. Hold it when you're ready. Hold it down because what happens is it gives you three seconds of boost. You clear? Hit it. Okay, that's it. He said, oh. <laughs> "What are your thoughts?" It's definitely an electric car. I can feel. As soon as Slow we switched down. it into sport mode, I could feel the wheel tighten up. Okay. It's not as, it doesn't feel as loose. Okay. So everything stiffens up? Yes. Okay. Do you like it? I do actually really like it. Because it doesn't creak. Okay, but everything feels more solid. Exactly. It's just... The build quality of a Tesla is just... It's not it. Okay, slow down. If you can, come up here. You want to make a U-turn, okay? Okay. Are we clear? Yep. Make sure we're clear. The question now comes when the, this is not the M5. When the M5 comes out, you're going to make a bigger, okay? So you're going to pop a little bit wider yeah. so you don't yeah. make sure we're clear. So when the M5 comes out, what, what do we do? Do we go look at it? I mean, of course we're going to go look at it. But we're not going to go drive it. There's no doubts about that. You can hit it again if you like. We take it. This is about the boost. But it's still, it's an electric car, right? Yeah. You can still feel that instantaneous torque. I think, you know what? I think there are motor sounds. I think he turned it off. There, there are crazy sounds, which I think Uncle Vince turned it off. But this is his car. I'm not going to mess yep. with that. I just want to get into drive modes. But... Your impression is it's a nice, it's a very nice car. It is a very nice car. It does feel like. Go over left a little bit yeah. away from this guy. Okay. I would say it does feel like it's price point. Unlike okay. the Tesla, where it feels more, it even the Plaid, it does feel cheap for what it is. It's sad to say that, but it, it, it does. It, it's like. It feels cheap. That's the problem with the plaid. The plaid, ultimately, he used the perfect word. It just feels cheap. A BMW, a Mercedes, or any of the German cars, at the end of the day, it just feels so much better. And to the degree, like when we drive this thing, it's just a better feeling car. And um, and that and that's the thing about it. A German car is still a German car. Um, we're not a professional car, you know, reviewers, but we do we do own a lot of cars. And right now, even the Type R, like the Type R for him is the FKA. Yep. Although still pretty new, when compared to a, a GR86, which was what you had, a brand new one, and then to an FK8, it feels just like eh, fairly com comparable. Yeah. Right? It's still a Japanese car. Still, like everything doesn't feel like right now a German car. It's solid feeling and things like that, right? Yep. Um, but when you step into this price point of this type of vehicle, I mean, this feels like a, you know, a, according to the to the requirements, a good German car, a solid feeling car. Yep. Right. Yeah. So. But anyways, we I thought I'd bring you this quick clip just because even a you know 
teenager knows the difference between cars now, especially this day and age. But the torque is very instantaneous. And, and I think you can appreciate the driving dynamics of a BMW. This is why they still call it a ultimate driving machine, Justin. What are, what are some of your feedbacks on this today? Additional I, feedback, guys. I definitely agree with a lot of what you said. I don't think I can be considered a normal teenager, though, because you put me in a lot of different cars throughout my life. <laughs> and I, I mean a lot of different cars. It's not a bad thing. You get to drive it. No, absolutely but, not. But she still hasn't driven mom's GLE 350, which I don't blame you. Who the hell wants to drive that thing? The thing's a tank. I don't, <laughs> I don't think I need to drive it. Now, but... If mom is ever ready to go switch to the electric version of the GLE 350, then it becomes a different story. Then I think, then I think it's the question of is it a compelling car to drive, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. 